Ah! No! Oh. No, what was that? Hello everybody, Gray still plays and we're back with more American Truck Simulator. As you can see, we're on the road and there's no time for BS. Because if there was, I'd probably end up crashing, flipping this thing, and sending delicious, delicious yogurt all over the freeway. I've got the cruise control on at 50 miles an hour, or I should say 55 miles an hour, and it is not working because we're going up this giant hill and it's totally destroying our acceleration. I think it is. It's either that or a way station is coming up. Usually when a way station comes up, it slows you way down so that you don't miss it. This is weird. Where the heck did all of my acceleration go? 30 miles an hour? No, that's not right. Something's wrong. I don't think my parking brake is engaged. It would say something if it was. Let's see here. Come on, guys. What's with this 30 miles an hour stuff? 31 miles an hour. Ugh, let's go down this hill and hopefully gain some acceleration. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're starting to get there a little bit. Gotta get out of that dang gear. Yes. I think the other issue is, is that our load is, like, super heavy. I didn't actually take a look at how much it weighs, but it's yogurt, so it's gotta be pretty dang heavy. There we go. Let's get her up to about here. Yeah, 58. That should be pretty good. And this episode should end up basically a perfect length, I'm hoping. Because I'm pretty sure that the distance that we have, 310 miles, that's about good enough for us to drop something off and maybe look at, I don't know, making another loan payment or something. I have to remind myself that my loan payment is probably going to be coming in in short order so I don't freak out like I did the last time. I always think that it's like some sort of horrible ticket or a speeding offense or a crash worst yet. Although from what I've seen the crashes honestly don't really cost that much money which is kind of funny. I think like the three crashes or however many I've been involved in have been like 300, 400 bucks. That's not bad considering the one speeding ticket we've gotten so far was a grand. Ooh, 80 miles an hour. Let's jack things up big time. 80 miles an hour is going to get us there super fast. Yeah, we're covering distance like like a gangbuster here. And the sun is coming up. Got another hour before the sun comes up. So probably another, I don't know, two minutes in the game cool little mountainous area here. A lot of foliage in this part of town, I noticed. That's nice. And yes, I would like to fit, like to visit a truck shop and get a new engine. I think that that is really going to help us out with our acceleration. The Cummings is a good engine. I think this one they said was a 12 valve. Not really my favorite one. Would like to see a 24 valve. But those Cummings engines, if you guys know about them, run forever. Um, if you ever get like a like a Dodge, the Dodge 2500 or the Dodge 3500, the what is this? Oh, it's a way station, but it's not making us way in. Well, that's good. The Dodge 2500 and the 3500 uh, had the Cummings engine in it, and man, that truck would fall apart before the engine did. I'll tell you that. Let's see here. This guy's going kind of slow. Let's see if we can get around him. Pull him behind this police officer, actually. Go ahead and pass this dude. Oh, a nice gas station on the roadway. That's that's excellent. Almost up to 80 miles an hour. When we hit it, I will go ahead and engage. Is that a blimp? Oh, no, that's just like my visor. I thought there was like a blimp in the sky. I will go ahead and engage the cruise control. Oh, shh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was close. Oh, no wonder it goes down to 65 here. 
Wah! Woo! Yeehaw! We're making bacon now. And we're making good time as well. Going to Redding in Wimica. 65 miles an hour. Only got 214 miles to go. We're making fantastic time. This is going to turn out great. We still have 416 miles worth of gas, too. So it was really good that we filled up before we took this job. Especially since we kind of had that little uh, air quotes detour that I ended up involved in. Oh, shark free aquarium. <laughs> Why is it shark free? That's BS. You got something against sharks? We also have the new Mr. Vegas, Ujo Bujo. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Oh. 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 Uh. All right. Well, on the plus side, we totally missed that car. On the minus side, we went off the curb into the other lane, but it doesn't look like anyone cares. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, we, we ended up hitting this light, too. Ugh. There we go. But, even if I would have gotten that red light infraction, it would have been better than, you know, barreling into the backside of a car. Upgrading the brakes on this thing is going to be nice, too. Look at that sunrise. Oh, yeah. Look at the beams of sun. Cool. Oh, live here. Eat free. Sweets for rent. Interesting. I don't know what kind of free food they got going on there. Uh, what do we got for speed? 65. That's not too shabby. I guess this is like the highway, not so much the freeway. The land of the free and brave way. Yeah. Make money. Burn gas, make money. Got a couple of buildings ahead. What is that monstrosity? Is that like an office building or a high rise? Holy cow, it's enormous. I don't know what that is. Is that Reno? Oh, we're in Reno, that's why. Or we're passing Reno, I should say. This guy has his convertible on at six in the morning. I don't know what the temperature is outside. I guess it's nice? I don't know. I don't know. Yep, there's Reno. Alright, very cool. Uh, looks like we've got... Kind of a bumpy ride ahead of us. If we go down some of these hills here, we should be able to gain some decent speed. I'd like to get us up to 65. But yeah, the fact that, like, your distance is covered so quickly... Means that each little second here that I spend not at 65 miles an hour is like more time on the road so getting an engine a better engine is basically good all around if we still have time at the end here I think we're gonna go ahead and check that out and see maybe if we can buy one let's see now we still haven't gotten up to 65 yet almost there 63 it looks like we got road work ahead of us but the speed is not going down so that's good there we go, 65. Engage cruise control. We're set. Ah! Oh! No, what was that? I know I hit the guardrail, but how bad did I hit it? Crap. Visit service. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I found out how... how <laughs> I found out what the temperature is. Oh, it's 77 degrees. Damn it! How much, how much damage did we end up with? All right, well, apparently I'll be getting some... Oh, our wheels. Oh, I can see it in the little thing there. Yeah, we probably blew out a wheel. But we've got a whole bunch left. So we, stood, we should still be able to make it to the place. Yeah, we, I guess we ended up rubbing that guardrail a little bit. Son of a bee. Just when you think things are going fantastic, you run into a guardrail. I guess that's how life is, though. 
in retrospect, I think unlike real life, where I like to be in the left lane, I think it's basically always better to be in the right lane. Because if you notice, there's a nice wide pocket there for people to pull over in the breakdown lane. So there's a lot more area for mistakes. And that's what I should have done. That's all right, though. After we drop off this load, we'll visit a service station. And then maybe we'll try and get an engine. Stuff is stacking up. Different issues and the like. It's all right, though. You got you can't everything can't be all roses and glory. Oh, hot air balloon! Look at that. Let me see if I can look at it without going off the road and killing everyone. Yeah, little hot air balloon, neat. All right, we've got road work ahead here. Is everyone slowing down? Well, not really. Engine malfunction. Why is the engine malfunctioning? Oh my god! This is terrible! Uh... Alright, how much- we have a hundred miles to go. I think we can- I think we can make it, guys. I don't think we're gonna have to visit the engine place right away. A hundred miles? I think we got this. Now that said, if we pass an engine repair place and I see it, yeah, I know, I got it. The engine's malfunctioning, I get it. But we've only got 91 miles to go. I know we can make it there. Come on. Ugh. Damn it. That guardrail is gonna just make me so sad. And I do not want to call curb curbside carry out or whatever it's called uh, roadside assistance 80 miles left yeah we're not even getting over 45 miles an hour anymore this is bad actually we're going down in speed pretty swiftly man getting service with this load on the back is not what I want to do though Come on, 70 miles left, 69. Man, engine malfunction, we've only got, what is that, 1,900, 1,800 miles on this thing? Well, that's all right, I guess the insurance company has to make their money too. They've got to keep their guys employed, 60 miles left, come on. We can get there, 44, 45, 46, come on, get there, get there, get there. 47, 48, yes, we're starting to pick up some speed now, as long as we don't get another malfunction. That's the only thing with these diesels, is they're very, very computer driven, um, with their turbos and everything else in them. If, if there's like a malfunction like this, it just destroys the power of the entire engine. But we only have 44 miles left. And we're starting to gain a little bit of speed. It seems to be nice and flat here. This is cool. This uh, this thing inside of the canyon here. It's kind of nice. It's 80 miles an hour though. And we're definitely nowhere near that. And I don't think we're not. I don't think we're going to be anytime soon. We are almost up to 60 though, so that's good. We haven't had an engine malfunction in a little while. That really kind of grinds my gears, though, that the engine's malfunctioning when our tires are the thing that's clearly injured. But, whatever. I don't know. You only need an oil change, what, every 5,000 miles? 8,000 if you push it? Alright, 17 miles, guys. We're almost there. I think we're going to make it. Come on. Gotta get up this little hill here. Probably going to lose some power. Oh, yeah, it's right off the road. All right, that's good. What side's our exit on, though? I'm hoping it's on the right. Uh, yes. It looks like we're going to pull right off the road. And let's see here. We're going to take this exit, and then we're basically right there. Yeah, we're less than one mile away right now. All right. We'll go ahead and coast for the rest of the way here, because we're going to have to uh, throw down the brakes in just a moment. 
There we go, perfect. Oh, it's right by Elko. The city limits, that is. Okay. Ugh, come on, pull up this little hill here, buddy. Don't you die on me. If we keep it slowly rolling, it'll be easier to get out. All right, the stop sign here. Sure, we come to a complete stop. We're going to be spending a bunch of money on repairs after all. Uh, oh, crap. All right, I think we're clear. Yeah, we're clear. All right. Yes, good. There is a rest area. There's a gas station. I don't know if I see any repair stations. I'll go ahead and bring the view way out. What are you doing? Yeah, you have a stop sign. I don't. You stop. Sucker. I'll go ahead and bring the view way out after we drop this thing off, and we'll see if we can find a nice repair area. All right, so not this road, but this road. Go ahead and stop for this red light, too. All right. And we should have a couple minutes to get everything repaired. There we go. All right, we made it. Where you guys want your goods? I need to get paid so I can fix this truck up that I destroyed. About ready for service. Yeah, we just got 2,000 miles on the truck. Oh, we're dropping it off at Walbert. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and top down this. Because I don't want to hit that pole. All right. This should basically straighten up by itself. Got it. Radio player. The hell's this? Got it. There we go. All right. <laughs> Satisfactory. Sure. Uh, ew. Three and a half. Three point four percent penalty. Dang it. Lost over a grand from that. Shoot. All right. We need to see what's going on with the diagnostics on this thing. Um, holy shi- yeah. Man, we messed everything up when we did that. Alright, so we have to pay about 818 bucks to fix everything. And we need to visit a service station. Alright, let's go ahead and find a service station real quick. We'll go ahead and get ourselves repaired. Uh, let's see here. Let's get out of this. Let's see here. Can we go all the way around? That would be helpful. Um, let's go ahead and let's see here. Um, how do you how do you zoom out on this thing? I'm trying to remember. Nope, we don't want those for sure. That's for darn sure. Hold on. Uh, toggle root advisor modes. Yeah, come on. I know there's a way to zoom out. Parking light. Oh, look at this light adjustment. All right, that's interesting. I don't need any of that. Oh, God, mirror adjustment. Oh, hey, sight adjustment. Oh, Jesus. Seat adjustment. Nope, don't need any of that either. Let's see. Oh, no short messages. That's nice. Um. Oh, F5. Here we go. There we are. All right. Let's see. There's got to be something around here, right? Let's go find it. Let's see, this isn't a blocked in way, is it? Oh no, good, I can get out here. That's fine. Jeez. <sighs> Hit this guardrail too while I'm at it. Okay, let's try this again. Just with less guardrail striking. Right, I see that little building over there. That is not a repair station though. Okie dokie. Let's see. And we'll just head out this way for now. Do some free driving, try and find a place to get ourselves up and running. 
Let's see. I might even want to zoom out further than this. Ah, there we go. Repair station. Come. Oh, got to stop. <laughs> Wait, there's a stop sign. Wait, there's a stop sign and a red light? Is that a thing? I didn't think that was a thing. Ah, oh, whatever. Get this baby fixed up. All right. Full steam ahead. We've got no load on us, too, so that's good. All right, so we made a couple of bucks. It wasn't too bad. Oh, I need gas as well. All right, well, might as well get everything done in one shot. Go ahead, fill her up. Spend a couple hundred bucks on gas, no doubt. I imagine this thing will probably take like about 130 gallons. We, we were way down. Um, all right, I was well, I was off. 107, I was off by a little bit. All right, straight ahead. Was it 30 miles an hour here? Yeah. Go ahead and hit the cruise control for this. I don't feel like going over the speed limit a bunch. Yeah, it looks like there's everything up ahead. There might even be a recruitment center up here. See that? See that question mark right there? Uh, in the right side of the GPS. So I can see a couple different items. One of them is the red wrench. That's what we want. But I also see that question mark. I'm curious to see what it is. We'll find out in a minute here. All right. Go around the bend nice and languidly. Ooh, is that a jet? That's cool. It looks like a jet. Ah, pizza mezzo. Grab a slice. All right, right up ahead. The parking meter's over there. Truck works. Total truck care. That's exactly what I need. There's all kinds of trucks going on over there. All right, should be right up ahead. Make this turn up here. And then right on the right. Looks like we do have a red light coming up as well. Oh, casino. Hmm. A little tiny casino. Ooh, caught the green light. All right. There we go. Kind of going off the road. You know how it is. All right. This should be it. Oh, it's a Kenworth dealer. Oh, a Kenworth truck dealer discovered. Wah! Let's go ahead and back up a little bit. Man, I'm still getting used to those turns there. Ah, service entrance. Excellent. Right over here by this wrench. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff over here. All right, man. Go ahead and uh, I'll do what you do. To repair. Yeah, we got to service it. Ah, it's upgrade shop as well. Let's check that out. All right, so we got to pay 800 bucks. That's just the way it goes. Let's go ahead and get out of this and go to upgrades. All right, so cabin. We still have the only cabin we can use. We still have the only chassis we can use. Man, we still have the only engine we can use. All right. Um, let's see. We could get the retarder. I don't think we need that right now. In case you're wondering what that is, that basically makes it so that like when you're going down hills and stuff, you don't accelerate like a madman and end up slamming into someone. Uh, no interior. You know what? Let's get some colors going on here. 2800 bucks for that, huh? Dang it. How much is the engine when we get there? Oh, we don't even know. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no. I want to not do that yet. Where's my... That's a paint job. Yeah, let's not... Let's not do the paint job. There. Okay. Go ahead and go here real quick. Uh, check out the bank loans. Let's see. We still have eight grand to pay on this. Um, let's see. Should I pay that now? Yeah, let's get that out of the way. We'll have a little bit of money left. A little bit. I mean, if I have to, I could take out another loan. But let's get that out of the way right now. 
And that is where we're gonna sit at this time in American Truck Simulator. We are getting somewhere. Um, mostly we're just paying off our loans so we can start getting all of the money. Which is not too bad. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Until the next time, I will see you then. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>